if someone told you that these components could be used for a board game, what would you think? Yes, these are network cables and they are used in two games. Two games that are coming on crowdfunding on Kickstarter very, very soon. I'm going to add the link in the description of the video so you can follow. One is about speed and one and dexterity and one is about uh, pattern building and uh, strategic approach. So two games, simple rules, fast games with a different um, uh, gameplay. Uh, Speedport is one of the games where you're trying to essentially uh, make a pattern by uh, plugging in network cables in, on your server board. And uh, the person who does this uh, faster uh, compared to the rest, trying to uh, pick up points by picking up the card, uh, will win the game. Uh, five points, five cards, so f speed is of essence here. And the other game, um, this is a speed board, the click board, is a game where uh, time is not an aspect. Uh, what you have is you have an actual uh, turn where you're the active player, compared to speed board where everybody plays together. On click board, everybody gets their own turn, and on the turn they can do one of the three actions. They can either plug something, a loose end, or a new cable on their server board. This has a bigger board than this one. Or they can unplug two plugs to, uh, from the port, the separate port. Uh, or you can uh, activate with uh, action points uh, specific cards that give you uh, very unique abilities. And they're open to all the, the players. So two different games using network cables uh, that they both deliver right to the spot. I'm going to describe how the games play. I'm going to present both of them uh, to you and explain the rules. Uh, Speedport can be explained on 30 seconds, literally, uh, and you can have extreme tons of fun. Clickport uh, just takes a couple of more uh, seconds to explain. It's more strategic because it's turn-based, uh, but they're both equally fun and very, very uh, unique, both for the components they use, but also for the gameplay they deliver. So um, join me at the table. I'll show you how uh, the games, both of the games play. I'm going to add a link uh, in the description for the crowdfunding campaigns where you can uh, uh, try to support the publisher so that they can get the games published and funded. And uh, I'm going to also add timestamps so that you can follow based on which of those you can uh, want to see or any different parts of the rules explanation. Join me at the end of uh, the, the video rules explanation where I'm going to show you uh, my final opinion about the game and my uh, experience so far by playing both Speedport and Clickport. So, let's get it. Hi, welcome to this uh, crowdfunding preview for Speedport, a dexterity game. Speedport is a game that plays from 2 to 6 players, takes around 5 to 15 minutes, it's extremely fun, it's designed uh, and published by Ludo Ninja uh, Company. It's a game that it falls under the category of action, dexterity, part game and puzzle. It has main mechanisms, uh, the pattern building, and it's very, very simple. The theme of the game is that you are one of the best server workers gathered together with other server workers uh, on IT, trying to finally decide who is going to be the fastest and compete. The servers are waiting, the cables are red hot, and the race begins. Speedport is a dexterity game where all that matters is your speed. Players must create patterns on their boards using cables and only the fastest will win. So how the game plays is very simple. Uh, you take uh, your server. So let's see how the game plays. Let's take uh, the nice cover to the side and let's uh, familiarize ourselves with the components of the game before explaining the very, very simple rules. Literally 30 seconds and then you're ready to go. Each player gets one uh, server one speedboard server, okay, so this is your server. As you can see, it can play all the way up to six players, and each player is going to have one of those. Then, uh, once you have the server, uh, you take four cables, one cable of each color. So, I'm going to take one green, one red, one blue, and one red. Once I've done that, I uh, click and use my server to position them on my board, okay? So I will add them and I will be ready waiting like that. So it will be somehow like that. This is uh, the deck of uh, pattern cards. They have a ton of different patterns. So once ready, you shuffle this deck, place it in the center of the table, uh, 
with easy access to all players. And once this is done, you just reveal one card flat on the table. Perspective doesn't matter because each player can be sitting on a different side of the table. Okay, only what matters is the pattern uh, on the card itself. So all players start together and uh, they put their hands on the board, on the server board, uh, and they start changing cables, unplugging and plugging them in different spots, trying to uh, make the pattern. Everybody's playing on the same time, everybody is competing against each other. So uh, if that was my side, because I could be sitting, in, sitting from another side, what I would be doing is I would be trying to make this pattern as quickly as possible. Okay. And once I have done that, hopefully quicker than any other player, then I'll take my hands off the board and shout Speedport. Once I've done that, everybody pauses and everybody uh, checks to see if the player indeed has made correctly the pattern. In this case, it looks like I've done it correctly, right? Cool. If I've done it correctly, I collect the card and take it in front of me as a, a proof of one point collected. The first player, and we go to the next round, which we reveal a new card and do the same. The first player to uh, collect five uh, such cards is the winner of uh, the game uh, in Speedboard. Now, if for some reason I did a mistake, okay, so let's say I shouted Speedboard and uh, I revealed this one where you see clearly that I have mixed uh, the pattern a bit. Even by one uh, error, that's enough. Then in this case, what I do uh, is I'm out of the round. So players resume competing, all the other players in the game, trying to finish first the pattern. And then at some point, someone is going to win um, by uh, proving and displaying the correct pattern and win the card for themselves. Okay, then from the next round, everybody still uh, participates and everybody competes for the next card. The one who collects five cards first, meaning five points, is the winner of the game. And this is how Clickport, Speedport, sorry, uh, plays. Dexterity game, fast, simultaneous play, uh, quick and easy to teach and also really, really fun. Now, let's see how Clickboard plays. Clickboard is a game for two to six players, takes around 20 to 30 minutes, ages 14 and up, published again from Ludo Ninja, uses this nice fancy network cables. And this is a game that falls under the category of abstract strategy, party games with puzzle elements. The main mechanism is pattern building. And Clickport is a revolutionary strategy game in which players acting as server room workers will create patterns on the board using internet cables. They can do this by plugging and unplugging different colored network cables, and the player who completes the pattern first wins the game. The difference here, and I'm removing the nice cover to show you uh, the components, the difference here is that uh, instead of having separate a server board for each player, like we have in Speedport, in Clickboard we have a single uh, common server board uh, which is shared between the players. Now, let's see, first of all, what the theme is all about. It looks like the server room is broken and you need to fix it. Quickly, but be careful with other employees in your feet uh, messing around. After all, only you know how to do it right. You just need to arrange the cables in such a way they don't unplug, uh, but they just stay put. Please take your hands off my cables and don't unplug them. Clickboard is a strategy game with which players acting as server rooms are trying to complete their pattern. And each player is going to get secretly one such pattern. Uh, uh, they can rotate it any way they want in front of them, but they need to uh, keep it face down in front of them. And this is their unique pattern that they need to fulfill for themselves and win the game. The components of the game is a common a big uh, server uh, board that you can see here. Again, has uh, all these clickboards. Should say, shouldn't say uh, click ports, <laughs> but it is that these network ports for the cables to go in there. Uh, we have a variety of cables, 20 cables in total, in different colors, five red, five blue, five yellow, and five green. We have the rules, we have 54 I tiers, which are these uh, cubes that you see here. These uh, cubes are used for buying uh, action, uh, specific actions during your turn uh, from the ones displayed open, more on that later. Uh, actually, let's speak about that. Now we have uh, 12 um, action cards and uh, in each game you're only going to need only one. These are large cards which actually uh, worth specific amount of I tiers for you to do during your turn. And you can execute the specific action as displayed on the card itself. 
you're only going to need three for each game so you can understand already that there is a big um, replayability in the game there are also uh, 60 patterns and these are the different type of patterns that you have uh, you're only going to need one per player for each game and uh, that means that you're going to have a big variety also then we have uh, everything set and we're ready to start the game so how we set up the game we place the board in front of us and uh, everyone should have easy access to the server board with two or three players we use uh, one half of the board so either this one or that one with uh, four or six players we use the full board meaning both sides and you can even see easily see uh, the half of it then we lay out the cables in a place accessible to all players this will be a common pool of cables so you can either put them by color or mix them so you can split them around the table so I can have access either from there or there doesn't matter each player during the turn they can access uh, every cable on the table available so with two or three players you need to use three cables of each color with four or five players you need to use four cables for each color and with six players you need all five cables of each color you shuffle the layout cards and deal one to each player and that player should uh, see that only for themselves secretly see your pattern and then decide the orientation of the pattern you want to have in front of you and you can uh, switch it uh, and then you place it in front of you face down so other players uh, do not know what your pattern uh, looks like you shuffle the action cards and place one card uh three cards sorry face up you don't need the rest of the cards for the game so you can remove them so you only need three cards and uh, you have them face up and every uh, player has access to those action cards uh, during the course of the game and then uh, uh, each player should receive nine one tier uh cubes these are these transparent uh, cubes plastic cubes that you can use as a resource to spend it to do different uh, actions in the game based on the cards that are here for example this costs one this costs two or this costs three now during the player's turn players cannot skip their turn if a player cannot perform an action for any reason the game ends three actions are available to each player in his turn and the player can choose only one of them so let's see them you can plug a free plug into an unoccupied port this may be an available plug of a cable already plugged in by another player a free loose uh, plug or uh, one from uh, the pool so that means if it's my turn as uh, my action i can plug in one cable keep in mind that this is not plugged the other side so it's left open another player plays and during their turn they may decide to also plug uh, uh, use this action and plug uh, one cable okay so players can keep doing that as long as they want and they can be selecting from the pool as long as they're available cables to plug them uh, similarly if it's your turn and you don't want to plug any of the ones that they are outside but you want to specifically use for pattern building purposes one loose end from an already plugged cable so it's my turn so instead of picking a cable and plug it i can use a loose end and plug it into the board so one of the options is plug a free plug into an occupied board as you have seen that's it that's my turn another option during my turn could be to remove any two plugs from con uh, connected to the server that means that for example i can remove this one and that one okay so this could be my action turn or let's say this is connected okay so during my turn i can say i remove both of them from the same cable that's uh, obviously legit okay so as the game progresses uh, there's going to be a very interesting mix of uh, patterns and things that you find during the board uh, because of players are going to be messing with uh, the server board the third option you have is to spend required amount of i tiers to activate one of the action cards by placing the amount of i tiers needed on the action cards keep in mind you only have nine you start the game with nine there's no way you're going to gain any more throughout the course of the game uh, these uh, cubes are called i tiers or special currency that is used uh, to buy action cards during the individual uh, player turns and each player receives nine such tiers at the beginning of the game and cannot increase the number of tiers in any way therefore if a player has no tiers in his possession or her possession they cannot uh, no longer buy a special action during the turn and for the rest of the game they can use uh, any other basic action from the two i mentioned before so uh, let's say it's my turn as an action i can spend either one tier to do this action 
two tiers to do this action or three tiers to do this action. So simply, let's say I want to place this one, replace the completely connected cable with a cable from the pool of a different color, then plug in any plug. So I can spend two uh, tiers and I, I decide to do this action. Obviously, I place the, um, the, um, the tiers on there, replace any completed connected cable with a cable from the pool. Let's say for some reason I wanted this one. Okay, it needs to go in the specific same slots. Don't remember if it was the same one I unplugged, but it needs to go in the specific same spots, uh, um, plugs, spots. Uh, so I replace it. Okay, so one for one. So I take it and put it in the same uh, place. Uh, and then I plug in any plug like I do before. So I can plug any plug. Okay, so that's it. Then the next player plays, etc. As long as I have tiers to use, I can be spending them to do the specific action. And they, this, there's a a variety of 12 of those action cards to do pretty cool things but uh, i like to mention also that it's really humoristic and you can see the art interrogation uh a fiance is offering uh not roses but uh red network cables or a couple is fencing with network cables and here we have the server king this is fantastic really really great art guys uh it's my first uh play with a game from this company and i really really adore what they've done with um using innovative components and also the art okay going back to the, uh, the, fin the finalization of the rules because this is a, again a very simple game uh, just to mention that you can have uh, pattern parts in uh, the boxes okay only you see the your pattern some patterns on cards are divided into several individual combinations in this case of such combinations the player can arrange separately par separate parts of the pattern anywhere on the server so this can be on the lower part and this can be on the upper part on the upper right doesn't matter um, following only the perspective of holding the card card, the pattern card. White boxes, because we don't have white LANs, LAN cables, network cables, uh, white boxes uh, can be of either color or empty. So I can either have any color cable here in my pattern or it can be empty. So this gives flexibility also. A cable plugged in by uh, another player, for example, could also be uh, used in my pattern, as long as it doesn't break my pattern. So, they do not count for scoring and victory conditions, the white ones. Speaking of which, of which, let's just conclude with the goal of the game, which is obvious, but let me tell it, one, tell it one more time. The objective of the game is to arrange a pattern of cables according to the pattern card you have in front of you and it's only visible to you. The, pat the player who completed the pattern needs to say out loud that I prepared and I revealed, uh, I revealed the pattern card, I prepared my pattern. Then it's time to check uh, the combination. If the layout is uh, entirely correct, the player wins the game. While in the case of an error or incomplete completion of the pattern, that player continues playing but with their uh, pattern card revealed and known to all other players. Uh, there's an exception, there is a possibility that during the game the players may run out of cables and the game will block in such a case, uh, we tally uh, the number of points for the completed uh, parts of the combinations uh, that we have uh, by uh, counting one point for each plug uh, that matches our pattern. The player with uh, the highest number, of course, is the winner. So, there you have it. This is how Clickport plays. Join me up and let's see my final thoughts about uh, Clickport and Speedport. So let's uh, uh, let me share my opinion about the game. Uh, first of all, speedboard, and then I clickboard. You're going to be seeing me moving around lots of cables. I really like them. So <laughs> uh, the same goes with my children and with my uh, fellow uh, gamers from my gaming group. So uh, I really think this is a very unique idea, and they really delivered uh, right to the spot here. So first of all, about speedboard. Uh, I was actually having a discussion with a couple of friends the other day, and I was saying that we rarely see. Uh, pure innovation lately in board games. Not all, there are some good games that are really innovative and they bring some really cool ideas, 
but most of the games, or if not most, a lot of the games nowadays, I'm talking about new releases, they have a bit of the same. They just dress it differently with different theme or different uh, looks, but it's more of the same. Now, this game is a really, really unique. First of all, it's actually really thematic. You feel like you are a network a router, um, I don't know, server uh, worker on IT, and you're trying to really uh, plug in those network cables as fast as possible. The second thing is that they use uh, really actual network cables. I think this is really, really fun, trying to plug the network cables on the server board. And um, the first game, Speedboard, is really, really actually about speed. The person who can quicker uh, pick up the pattern and put the correct cables, the correct colors at the correct spots on their uh, server board, they win, uh, win the card. The person who wins four, uh, five of these cards uh, wins the game. Very, very fast, accessible game, can be played on the fly as a filler with, a, I don't know, experienced gamers, with a mixture of experience and non-experience, with small kids. Uh, I think it's one of those uh, golden uh, golden games that uh, really can go everywhere. They can serve a ton of different situations and they're very, very unique. Uh, not to mention that if you have any friend or any uh, someone working on IT or working with uh, computers or with uh, <laughs> servers, they would definitely going to love it. But this is not only for them, this is for everybody, really. This is a very, very uh, unique game. Now, uh, the second game, uh, Clickport, is equally interesting and has a very different approach. Again, you're using, uh, you're playing on a larger board, as you have seen, not the smaller ones that you play with the speedboard. You're playing on, an, on a larger shared, commonly shared um, server board where uh, everybody's playing. And the difference here is that you have to make your pattern on the same time with the same elements and tools, the same like uh, the other people. So you're going to be find other people messing with your pattern or helping you without uh, knowing. And uh, it's, about, it's uh, just about really trying to uh, make the best out of it, use a uh, very, very well the action cards that they have, can give you some powerful boost, but you need to be careful about there because they cost uh, cubes and you have only uh, uh, a specific amount of cubes that you can uh, spend in order to use them. But if you time them correctly, it really makes a difference. The fact that uh, it goes around the table and you can see that uh, some of your plans may be working or maybe slightly, uh, slightly altering uh, by the actions of the other players is also equally interesting. But uh, all in all, it goes quite fast as well. Not as fast as Speedboard, but a very, very fast game. And uh, sooner or later, uh, one of uh, the players will have their pattern completed and they will win the game. Here we have no speed, so you can be relaxed. You can just wait for your turn, play, play your cards right. Cards, you don't play cards, you know, uh, play your, uh, I don't know, execute your plans right. Try to make your pattern and uh, win the game. So, tremendous fun with both of them. So they win, uh, in my opinion, in my book, a uh, lot of points, both for appearance, for innovation, for looks, for uh, how accessible those games are. Uh, they're very different between uh, you know playing in the same time and playing uh, on real time uh, like on speedboard and playing on a turn based on a click port with a, a much longer um, I don't know uh, strategy in mind and a way to to execute. I like the the components. It really connects me more to the game. I don't know. Uh, it's uh, it gives me more thematic ties to the game because they're really really network cables. Uh, they're colorful. They're beautiful. I've seen them so many times uh, on, you know, in the office, on computer, behind computers, on server rooms, etc. I'm not an IT person, but uh, I've walked outside of an IT room uh, frequently. Uh, always admire them. They look beautiful, and, and no matter uh, you know if they were tidy or non tidy, they were uh, an art, a piece of art. Now you can play it as a board game. So do check the link in the description of the video for um, uh, the game. Uh, do follow their campaign, it's launching very, very soon for uh, seeking crowdfunding support and uh, getting it published. I'm sure it's going to be a huge success. This is one of those games that really hit the spot and they can be like uh, an excellent choice, no matter if you are uh, playing with, uh, you know, uh, casually, you're playing as a filler, you want to have something light. The fact that they're very, very simple to teach, it's a fantastic uh, uh, asset for gateway games that both uh, new gamers and uh, experienced gamers are going to love it because uh, they're going to have fun and uh, they're going to be using actual, actual uh, uh, real components in order to play the game and uh, use it in practice. And I really want to see more games from, uh, from um, the company uh, utilizing real life uh, components and making games like this. Had a blast uh, playing the game, I really recommend it. And if you're looking for either speed games uh, for pattern building or 
abstract strategy puzzle games with turn-based uh, approach for clickboard or you like both like me then look no more and do check it out this is um, uh, something new and unique so many thanks for watching and don't forget to unplug the cables at the end <music>